Oh man, so shout out to MREC TV and shout out to my boy Sensei Rip from Forgotten Kings TV 2.0. Now those dudes have this exclusive clip of Dave Chappelle speaking on Cat Williams and he isn't on Cat Williams' side on this one right here. Now one thing that he mentioned is that this isn't good for comedy. Interesting. And he also said he's messing with a lot of dudes money. And that led to D-Ray Davis stepping on the stage and debating Dave. This shit crazy. Now let's check this out right here. And we gonna come back with some light commentary. Hold on tight, hold on tight. Dion Cole's an old nigga. Officially today. No, you with that phone. I did not know, did not know you Cole's man. And wreck TV. Man. I'm a historical figure. <laughs> And all you comedian niggas have to admit, I did it. And, and I don't know, I don't know where Cat is, but that nigga is waiting for all of us. Damn right, TV. Cat is gonna kill us all. <laughs> oh my god. I, I love everybody, but I love Cat Williams more than a lot of people. And that nigga is wild. <laughs> And wreck TV. All right, all right. I'm at war with the Illuminati too. But what part of the war is ethering Cedric the Entertainer? <laughs> I mean, this man is the Illuminati. I'm going to stop with Cedric the Entertainer. And wreck TV. Cedric's a good dude. He's old, he's fat. Steve Harvey doesn't even do this anymore. Hey, Jones. Hey, lady, you tweet. Don't tell anybody what I'm saying. This bitch like she's tweeting LA Times. Cat Williams beef is hot. Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Everybody put your phones down. Let's just have a good time. He said, what? No, D-Ray, you know why? Because Marlon Wayans called me and told me you said what Cat did was good for comedy. <laughs> no, it's not. And Brett, cheap. Nigga, I'm 50. Yes, it was. No, it's it not. No, because he did that. No, shut up, nigga, because <laughs> you, know why, you know why I disagree? Because I put a special out the same day, and it was fine. And this nigga had to come out. I read 3,000 books by the time I was seven years old. What the fuck are you talking about? We ain't getting money. Where is the money in that? Where is the money in that? He dropped the album. He put out a mixtape. And Wreck TV. Nigga, that sounds ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? You have to talk about it so I know I'm a smart No, no, no. Say it again. All right. He said. D Ray, I will check. Yes. I put out an album and he put out a mixtape. Yeah, your shit pop. You put out a mixtape. I get another cosmic. It's fun being drunk, isn't it, Dion? Dion's got the right idea. This album mixtape shit you're talking about. And I've been doing comedy for almost 40 years. And I'm only 50 years old. And let me tell you something. I go to niggas, I go to niggas fucking, I go to niggas baby christenings, I go to their weddings, I've gone to niggas funerals. And what part of the game is this? He only eats the niggas. He didn't say anything about any of these white boys. And none of these white boys function like that. And Cat is one of the best painters in the game. So why are you drawing all ugly pictures of us? Stop. Hey, yo, yo, did he say anything about, did he say anything about me? And Wreck TV. Yes, he did. And what did he say? That he loves me and I'm awesome. And you want to know why he said that? Because I've been nothing ever but kind to this nigga. And you can only say the same 
and you can only say the same. I've never, ever hurt any of you. And all these niggas have taken shots at me because it hurts to be big and can't, and can't, and hurt people hurt people, but I'm a hurt person that never hurt people. And he does it all the time. Fuck this one and fuck that one and fuck this one. But nigga, I didn't hear anything that you did wrong. He didn't do nothing wrong. Cat didn't do nothing wrong. And wreck TV. I'm gonna bring a picture with a black guy. Cat did this to me. What you just did? Hey, what you just did was someone called you, which I'm not gonna say the name. You said we well, called you because I don't, I don't, I don't gotta do that. You already said the name. And wreck TV. You said just like called you and said that. D-Wade said it was good for the culture. That's all they gave. Oh, Marlon. Right, Marlon. So that's the only. Yo, nigga, he's not the only one. Fat Joe, all the niggas coming. Yeah, this is killing it. No, he's not. I am 50 years old. I am not beefing with you niggas. Ever. 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 And if you guys want to play the game like that, then set them up. Let's play, nigga, but I don't. But if you turn to me, let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yo, D Red. So all we need to do is D Red. Let me tell you something about this nigga. I sat right, I sat right there. I sat right, wait, 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 wait. I still D, I, D Red, I sat right there. And I watched you do a set. And it was brilliant. And I'll tell you exactly what I thought was brilliant about it. And look at these bitches leaving at the go. I'm gonna go somewhere and be ranch. Good night, bitch. Listen. No, 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 no. I sat there. I watched you do a set. It was brilliant. Then listen, brilliant. Every joke you told was tragic. It's personal. This nigga did a joke about waiting for his father to come see him. And looking out the window in anticipation, niggas was falling out of the chair. Everything he said was painful, and he made everyone laugh. I saw you do that. You didn't say anything about anybody. Said it to this same. He cat was talking about shit that niggas did to other niggas, but not about anything that niggas did to him. If I told my story, it would break your heart. Your heart. If I told my story, it would break your heart. I lost everything and never, ever told on anybody. And this nigga is the arbiter of truth. Cat, listen, I fuck with Cat hard. And wreck T. But, 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 but. Wait, 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 D Ray, just tell me what part of the game. Fucks up another nigga's paper. And wreck. What part of the game is about telling on another nigga? Tiffany Haddish is lifting something heavy. And as clumsy as she is, I don't disagree with Cat. He be telling the real shit. And wreck. This one's fucked up this way and that one's fucked up this way. Yes, nigga, that is true. But why would you say that? Because all of us are trying to be in a better situation. Can we get over it? Right, so Open, the no, 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 Open the window. Open the window. This room be, stinks. I want, be, I want to be. I want to be as respectful as possible. So I'm telling you this. So when someone calls you, they said D-Ray said it was good for the culture. They tell you why D-Ray said it was good for the culture. It was because I felt. I also said that Kat, what Cat said was he said a lot of personal stuff that has nothing to do with comedy. But the funny shit is funny. It's funny that nigga said. Oh no, it was funny. I'm not saying. Say, no, 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 wait a minute. I'm not saying it wasn't funny. That's just funny. So, I. What did I say? I said a master chef could be friends. I stand by that. Break down to ask me why you did shit and your ability to do shit. No, no, wait, wait. no you don't exactly stop. There you go, no, no, stop no, no. with talk. the semantics. It's only fair. It's only fair. Okay, you said, tell your paragraph and I'll either in the same. Go ahead, all right. go ahead, all right. go ahead. Go ahead. Can I tell you my story? <laughs> 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 so I'm saying, though, Dave, but all I'm saying is that. 
Right. The things you did, the way that you move, you know not to never do that to somebody because of the way you were raised, because how you come from, because you have 40 years in. You said longer than anybody's been doing comedy. You said standards, so your way of moving is different. So Cat's way of moving, the way he came in, the way he came in is different. So I'm not making excuses for him, because I don't, I don't think everything was right. I'm just saying, Dave, though, you're a superhero. And when you're a superhero, yeah, you can't yeah. move the same way. Mm. Yeah, if you're a superhero, the way you are, you can't just flex your superpower for no reason because you do have stories about everybody. Probably some personal stories about people. No, 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 no. I hear what you're saying. What is the difference? Wait, wait, wait. Hear me out. No one sat in front of Cat for real. No one sat me down, man. No one sat me down. Who the fuck would sit me down? Alright, we the Knockout Kings of Comedy. It's your boy, Reggie. Hey, y'all, make sure y'all go ahead and check out Knockout Kings of Comedy, man. MREC and RIP. Fire your content, fire everything. Once again, shout out to MREC TV. Shout out to MREC TV. Shout out to my boy, Forgotten Kings TV 2.0. Them boys doing great work over there. Always showing love. You feel me? Cross platform love. You feel me? But, um, Dave Chappelle, boy. Dave Chappelle. Whew. He went the hardest out of everybody, you think? And with the most most cachet and respect from fans to back him. So I'm really interested in seeing what people got to say. But here's my take on the situation. First of all, some great one-liners in them. A lot of great one-liners that Dave Chappelle threw out there. We're going to start with that. A master chef cooking beef franks. That was dope. D-Ray was speaking and Dave said, listen, you said, I say your paragraphs, I'll kill it with one sentence. That shit hard. <laughs> These dudes, man, heavyweights. Another one line that made my ears perk up was when Dave said that you're a, you're a master painter. Cat is a master painter. Why are you painting this image of us this way? Meaning that you have the ability to speak about white folks in the same way. The people that are giving you these opportunities and taking away from you, giving somebody else or whatever. Why are you going hard on them to paint these pictures? I think it's just easier for the audience to be entertained to have someone directly to go after that they know, but it just sucks when you see the people that they're going after, whether it's Ricky Smiley, Kevin Hart, Cedric Entertainer, Steve um, Harvey, whomever, whomever. It does suck for them personally that they have to be hit with the fanfare after Cat Williams put on a masterful performance on a goddamn podcast. Not many people could make a podcast seem like a comedy special, and that's what Cat Williams did that day. But some more thoughts. I believe that Dave is definitely personally motivated by some of the things that he was saying. Now, me and the King Sensei Rip from Forgotten King TV 2.0, we was having this conversation prior to Dave even speaking on Cat at all, you know? And the homie Rip basically said, listen, straight up, Cat stepped on Dave's special. Like, the media is not talking about Dave at all. And he said some things in that special. This shit crazy. So it's actually hilarious that Dave did not hold back by saying exactly how he felt but at least he made it funny though. At least he made it funny, but they say all good jokes contain true shit, but it got a little serious when D-Ray came on the scene to challenge Dave's point. And I seen someone say in another comment section that Dave is cloned, but I call Cap on that, come on now. I think he's just a nuanced individual. And this may be one topic that you disagree with him on when it comes to Dave, you feel me? Now, I want to see how more people react to this because Dave was a comedian that many people were excusing because Cat sung his praises in his Club Shay Shay interview. Like, Chappelle could do no wrong in many people's eyes. So, I want to see. I want to see what y'all going to say. But, um... He still displayed a, a bit of jealousy, but in a funny fashion. You know, me personally, that leaves me room to say that some of Cat's statements, not all, but some could have came out of jealousy because there's a clear competition going on in the comedy world, you know? And some of these dudes, they're going to say what they want to say to get this slight edge. And as a comedian, you're a great storyteller. You're kind of manipulative in a way, too. People going to rock with you, you feel me? Because they, they like you. They love you. They're going to rock with your side. They want to believe you. So I think that's what makes Dave salty a little bit because he know Cat is doing this for personal gain, you know? Not saying he needs it because Cat Williams is friggin' Cat Williams. But the competition in him, the competitive nature in these men that just want to be the best, 
they would do what they have to do to make their light shine a little brighter. What Cat told y'all, man, he studied every single laugh that a comedian gets and say, I got more laughs than him in my special. They're at each other's necks. Let's not get this confused. They want blood. Because see, in the perfect world, in the perfect world, Dave should be happy for Cat's moment right now. But in a real world, you know, he was the only one out of all the comedians that was immediately actually affected business-wise. So he isn't singing Cat's praises for taking attention away from his goddamn special. Cat's moment took away from his moment. Even though he's had a million moments, his goddamn Dave Chappelle, he don't need any more attention. He got it. But he won it all. This competitive nature in him, they won it all. Now that could be compared to Cat feeling the way that Kevin Hart capitalized on the roles that he played hardball with and turned down. In a perfect world, in a perfect world, Cat should be happy that another comedian was able to take multiple jobs that he turned down and make the most out of him for his career. And he just, he's able to take care of his family and put his friends on and all that good stuff. But in the real world, in the real world, Cat is kind of upset because it messed up his ability to, to negotiate if every time he plays hardball, the studios move on to the next best option. But us as the audience, me and you, me and you. I think we just have to accept the fact that, you know, this is what makes up the minds of many great, amazing comedians. These are competitive men and women. Competitive men and women. And they love to roast. <laughs> you feel me? They love to roast. So at the end of the day, all these men are millionaires taking care of their families. And we're the winners at the end because right now we're getting all this content. They're entertaining us, even though they're kind of going through a little shit. They all still rich as shit, but entertaining us. So I guess I kind of side with D-Ray in this situation, you feel me? Because comedians may start doing whatever it takes to go all out and make sure they work hard for our lives, bro. Cat has pulled back the curtains we've seen more than they intended for us to see. Now, whether it's the truth or not, most jokes are exaggerations of the truth any goddamn way. So some may be truth, some may be some lies, but... I don't know. All I could say is I can't remember a time where this many eyes were on the comedy world at once and the people aren't putting up with no non-funny bullshit. So I think we win. I don't like you could debate whether oh cat's right or or, or, or Dave's right, but D rate. Nigga, we win. We win. That's what I care about. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here though. There's another update with Stace. Yo.